Where you go? Marisa, how do you explain what happened today? Well, I think it's easy. I think um, I think when we score and we we didn't start uh, badly the game. Um, I think in the way that we concede the first goal, I think uh, the team suffered the impact, you know, and uh, rather to build the momentum for us and and to trust in the way that we were we start to play. I think it was a big big, you know. Uh, um, a difficult moment to manage after that, and uh, I think the energy, the energy dropped, and yes, and then was uh, really really difficult uh, moment uh, to manage. I think that is uh, the important thing. We concede the second goal. I think two own goals on the first half, and then uh, yes, we feel the impact, and then the second half. I think we start and with the possibility to score the, the second goal for us and then when you concede the third goal um, you you feel you know uh, on the touchline that it was really difficult for the player to manage the situation no? Nizal your players look a little bit nervous they I felt like they kept giving the ball away in dangerous areas do you think that was part of the problem a bit of nerves yes I think that was was the problem the main problem that we feel the pressure you know and the stress uh, to win, uh, to play well, to perform, and yes, we didn't have time when we score, when Palmer scored, to to build our momentum on the game, you know, and to and to dominate and to play easy and to feel confident. I think the, in the way that we consider two goals, I think you can afford to to consider these two goals and in any. When you play um, again a Premier League team, always is difficult. And then, of course, that was the feeling after Liverpool that was, you know, affecting the team so much. And yes, I think easy things in the build-up and when we play in possession and all was uh, was difficult. And of course, was easy the game for them only with energy, you know, to contrast the, our. Our game, no? Neil. Are the players good enough? Sorry? Are the players good enough? Are they good enough to be top four? Are they good enough to be top six? Are they good enough? Well, I think we are all you know, good enough, you know, at the moment. That is the reality. I think <laughs> myself also is the first responsible of this situation. And of course, uh, what we were showing today that we we are not good enough. That agree with you 100%. Because I think uh, we didn't manage the situation properly. And of course, uh, no one can be safe, no? I, I, don't want to, I don't want to come here and say, no, I am the best and, and the player are the worst. I think, I think we are all responsible. But even the player, you know, the player need to uh, take responsibility. Like I, I took the, I take responsibility also. I think, I agree with you, we are, at the moment, we are not reflecting. Uh, we, are, we are not much in the, the history of the club, and that is true. And we need to accept, and we need to be critics. Um, but we cannot give up. We need to keep working, and of course, we are going to work. Uh, you know, really hard to try to change, maybe taking decision, trying to find things maybe in a different way. If we cannot, if not working in this way, we we need to you know to move move on and try to find different type of solution. Yes, for sure. Okay, last two today, Liam and then Alison to finish. Hello. There was a lot of anger in the second half from the fans. Sorry? There was a lot of anger in the second half from the fans towards the players, towards the team. How can you, how, how can that be fixed? Can it be fixed? Because it seems like the anger is getting worse with the fans. No, I think what we can say, apologize the fans because we can apologize and then to accept because the perception is one thing, another is the reality. The perception is Chelsea should be in a different position, but for different circumstances, we are not uh, we are not there. One, maybe because we are not good enough, you know, um, but I think what we can do, the most important now is, of course, to feel the responsibility and, and of course, we need to accept that that is the you know, the organization and, of course, the players that we have. And then the fans, to understand the fans is really important. And we say, yes, we feel 
you know, and we want to apologize and feel sorry. And we are disappointed like them, but until to the end, we need to fight all together, you know. And, and of course, if we want to take good uh, results in the future, we need to stay all together. And of course, during the game, during 90 minutes, we need to, you know, to try to work together, to try to get the good result. And on the end, of course, with all the, you know, the capacity and the, uh, they will be right to criticize or to, you know, and to be angry if the performance is not good. But it's important also, I think the player are young, uh, the young team need support. And then I want to say thank you because the fans until today and they were supporting, but on the end of the game, they can behave like, you know, uh, they wanted to behave because they are entitled to behave how they feel. Last question today, Alison. There was a lot of um, negative response from the fans as well. But it's normal, eh? Did, 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 how does that affect you? No, I am. I am a human also. I am a, ro a no robot, but I think, of course, that is not a nice situation. But in football, you need to accept when you know win, and you are in a club like Chelsea with all the expectation. If you know win, you need to accept that uh, the thing that happened today can happen, and to be in this business. In this type of club, uh, you need to be strong. Things happen on the pass, of course. Um, we have the energy and we have the capacity, I think, to move on. Um, yes, but I think it's not affecting. Yes, of course. During the moment, I think it's not a nice moment, uh, moment, but I think it's always about to move on in the way that you need to convince the player and to push the player to uh, never give up and, and be brave. and. And to recover from this type of situation is the leader that need to be there, the compos composure, the composure, the energy, the the capacity, you know, um, to push them to to help. Because on the end, yes, we can talk, but we are here sitting, no, or we are in the stand, or we are in the dugout. But the player need to feel the confidence and need to feel fresh again to compete again. Because if not, uh, you know, and the fans need to know that the, the player want to deliver a very good job. And, and of course, uh, they feel the pressure and they need the help from the fans uh, during 90 minutes. And of course, uh, it's not to um, demand nothing, but of course, it's easy to be sitting outside watching like the player run on play. And when the stress arrives, sometimes it's not easy. That is why now what we need to do is to be behind them and help them to to recover from this uh, to defeat. No. Okay, leave it there. Thank you.